Alright guys, thank you for joining. I am now going to be starting our animation deep dive one hour behind schedule, but you know, that's okay. Not a big deal. What's a little bit of delay anyway? So today we're going to be talking about some Catalyst users and their animations. I think this is pretty interesting mainly just because last week when we talked about claymores, there is a lot of association with physicality. The reason being is because objects have weight and that makes total sense, right? Now, obviously for Catalyst users, since they're magic users, there is a connotation that, I guess, you know, magic doesn't have weight. So the only thing that you need to think about when talking about magic energy is basically energy transfer, like capturing energy, generating energy, and blasting out energy. Klee, you gotta stop talking. For example, for Klee, I think it's interesting mainly because Klee actually interacts with bombs right so what she's doing is she's actually throwing stuff as opposed to generating magic and i mean technically she is generating magic but at the core she's actually just throwing her own things um and the first one we're going to be looking at today is Klee, um and we're going to go through six of them uh the six characters that we have in this situation are going to be Klee, mona sucrose barbara and we got two more waiting in the wings, Lisa and Ning Guang. But we may not necessarily look at these idols because every single character has an idol and that could be a completely separate thing, which is a character exploration kind of uh, deal. But it's interesting to see how for each of these characters, one, they have different personalities and then also like the element that they're manipulating has a pretty big impact on terms of how they want to sort of communicate their actions. All the characters carry a weapon, right? So Klee carries this this whatever this, this catalyst thing, which in this situation is like an orb that floats around and spins. Now, I think what's interesting is that for her, she doesn't use it. Like, it doesn't move. Actually, let me just double check. Does it do the other characters also do that? Hmm, interesting. Okay. My first assumption was that this was intentional, but I guess all the catalyst users, the books and the, the orb stuff, they don't... The... Catalyst user isn't actually manipulating them in like how would you like you know have you guys seen um orb juggling or contact juggling is that what it's called contact juggling when you're contact juggling you have like an orb that you're just like moving around the space and your hands are manipulating up and down and stuff making it look like it's floating thank you for the follow Aishan but in these cases the animation sets it seems like for all of them it just floats to the side and then theoretically they have an idol here with their hand out and it's basically holding the weapon. Like, let's see. Yep. So in all cases for them, they hold their hand out to show, oh, I have my book at my ready, which is basically a catalyst to channel energy or magic energy from. And it seems like most of them all have or something very similar, right? These stances are all basically the same. You can see that there are maybe slight differences because of their height. Uh, Klee, for example, has a different idol into it. She hops up and down just to create a little more energy, but it does seem like that all of them basically pull from the same from the same pose and it's just transferred across all of them. And that makes sense. Like this kind of thing is just classic for a magic user and it's not necessary to really change it up because again, as we talked about last week, there are certain animations that you see a lot, right? And so as an animator, and in terms of if you're doing game development or like trying to measure how much work you need to do and where you need to put it, you just have to prioritize. What kinds of things will people see the most, right? Um, and so there's an argument there in that situation that hopefully all these characters could have different runs a little bit more, um, more unique runs. Uh, woo woo gravity. yes, you are correct. There was a, actually, you know what? Let's just look it up. Why not? So, Uwu Groovity was talking about how on the beta servers for Genshin Impact, they gave Klee a unique walk. And I don't know if this walk was given to given to Chi Chi at all. Chi Chi is the only other short character girl currently, right? So there's Chi Chi, there's Klee, and then there's also Diona. Diona. And theoretically, they could all have the same. They all currently have all the same walk and run, right? Um, but Klee on the beta server had this very, very unique march looking thing. Right here on the left. It is very cute. 
but you can definitely see that on the right they converted it back to like the default normal normal run normal walk and that's just no fun right like the left one left one just has so much more energy and attitude and just like playfulness which is perfectly appropriate for Klee, right so i'm not sure why they got rid of it but i think this this is this kind of develops reasons for potentially saving custom animations for future purchases or something possibly i mean that could be a cool feature right like if you could buy animation sets for certain characters or something that gives give them a little bit more personality uh, as an animator it would be it would be more nice to just have it be on the kit um but you know i think in a lot of ways this is not too big of a deal just mainly because for for genshin we don't really walk all that often in terms of gameplay i know that there are probably certain players that play to experience the world and walk slowly and see everything so it would be really nice to just be able to have that kind of little hoppity hoppity march but oh my god there's a lot of uh, chat going on i think left one la, left one is da 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 oh interesting i want to think of this based on person that's clear default Klee is very bubbly. She is a little bit kind of like a dunce in a way. She's very young and her character, at least from what I've interpreted, is just someone who's kind of ignorant about a lot of things and she just loves bombs. She just like likes making stuff and throwing them and then they go kaboom. Basically like a lowly girl version of Ziggs in a way from League. I think this is an example where just like animation walks or just things that show more personality for animators is always a good thing right okay cool so we've seen that right it's much harder to see from the front but we need to see from the side and nope they don't know there's no side view but that's okay so obviously the, the main thing is here her foot and then her leg if we look at it from a side profile it's probably like this right And in this situation, this foot kicks out first, much in a very, very like graphic way. And it swings out in terms of timing and spacing to feel like it's like a kick, right? Like a foo, as opposed to just a normal walk, which you're, when you're walking very, very default normal, your body is doing the most optimized motion, right? So it, it, it leaves it to feel very regular, very physical, like just a deep, like, you know, boring, right? And anything that's regular and optimized is boring to us, right? So when a character exudes a lot of personality, a lot of times they're going out of their way to communicate a feeling, right? Not necessarily intentionally, but that's just who they are as a person. And they have grown in such a way to sort of express themselves in this manner, right? So someone who is happy has more energy. And when you're happy and you have more energy, you're more likely to sort of put more pep in your step per se, right? Be more engaged with what you're doing so in this situation you can see that like the personality here she's like a little bit more bouncy a little bit more energetic swinging her arms a lot more and that takes energy right that takes involved effort but because of who she is and her mentality she can do that and that's why for us when we read that kind of motion we get that sense right if something is just the baseline of oh that's how something moves then it's it's much less interesting right so I think that's also one of the reasons why for League and all that stuff, there's this kind of like stretchy style and cartoony style in a way. And a lot of times that's just to push timing and make it more appealing. Because anything that looks realistic, anything that looks realistic is just normal, right? And, you know, things for like Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter when they're doing VFX animation, that stuff needs to look realistic because it needs to blend with the world because the world is realistic. But if we're doing something hyper sensual hyper sensualized in a way that's like fantasy or uh kind of like dreamlike then there's a lot more room for interpretation right so you push it you push even further to communicate stuff that's my point for this one anyway here we are back onto Klee. so the first one we're going to talk about is Klee, and i'm going to try to keep all of these down to maybe like 10 15 minutes all right you guys need to, you guys need to keep me on this on this clock <laughs> 